This is Pablo's Pavlidis, and I like going to my Aya's house and playing games with her. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who's ready for an awesome episode of 5 Minutes with Dad? Whoa, that's right. I'm here with Pavlos Pavlidis, and we got to do a lot of adjusting to the audio after this so we don't hurt people's ears, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now we're in the middle of the summer. We got our routine down. We're back from some theme parks and visiting our cousins, and we are ready to record. And Pavlos, did you know? I don't know if I mentioned this to Angela when we recorded. Did you know that you just got a shout out by the biggest magazine for parents in the whole world? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Parents Magazine ranked Five Minutes with Dad one of only seven or 11, I think it was, podcasts for kids, all kids, to listen to. Okay, hang on. Pavlos wants to pause. Hang on. All right, we're back. Pavlos wanted to remind me that we have someone we want to give a big shout out to today, and we're going to do that in just a few minutes. We weren't there yet, but I wanted to congratulate Pavlos because Pavlos, when he was only four years old, thought about this podcast. And wouldn't it be cool to have my own show? And then we thought to invite Angela and have her be the co-host. And me, and we're gonna we talk about all sorts of cool things about being a kid, right? Mm-hmm. And we have so much fun. We're doing it for three years, right? Uh huh. And we grow up, oh, and some. Four. Well, you you just turned eight years old, yes, but you were just about to turn five when we started. We started in 2014, 2017, so three. But yes, we're on our fourth year of doing this. How cool is that? Uh huh. Do you want to stop? No. You want to keep going? Me too! And we are so excited because we want to thank Parents Magazine for naming us one of the top podcasts in the world for kids to listen to. We're honored. And we even get Parents Magazine, so we're super, super excited about that. What's up, buddy? Nothing. Who's there? P. P who? P U. P U. <laughs> Pavlos has been learning some jokes, but this show is not about jokes. We're going to talk today about something really, really fun, really, really cool that Pavlos has been doing for a while now, and he's gotten so good at it, and we are going to talk about having fun in ways that we get excited about. So finding the things in our personalities when we go and we see things and we say, wow, that looks like fun to do, and instead of saying, no, that's not something for us to do, say, you know what, let's find a way to make it happen. And what did we do? What did we do? Um, to have some fun in that way recently. What did you start doing? You don't know? What about when we went to the Red Sox game and we went to the library? Your mom took you to the library and we went to, where did we go? Oh, we went to a birthday party that had what kind of an artist there? Balloons. Balloons, yes. You know how when you go places and they have balloon animals and it's always an adult making the balloon animals? Yeah. And we went and I don't know, how did you get into making your own balloon animals? I found a kid at CVS. That's right. Pavlos loved it. And then he went shopping at just a random CVS and saw a little beginner kit with some balloons and a pump, and he has been hooked, and he is getting so good. He's been practicing. He's been popping a lot of balloons, right? Mm-hmm. But that's okay, because you pop. You got to pop a lot of balloons in order to learn, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, and Pavlos is making, what kind of things do you make with balloon animals now? Dogs. Yeah. Swords. Yep. Flowers. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Hats. Yes. Mm, that's pretty much it, right? A mouse? Do you make a mouse yet? No. Yeah, you're making a few things. He's got a book now, and he's got a cool pump that just costs... And giraffes. And giraffes, yep. And he's got a cool pump, and he's got his own balloons, and you can get it right on Amazon. So we are going to have that be the resource of the week. If you go to 5minuteswithdad.com slash pump, that'll bring you to the pump that Pavlos uses, and 5minuteswithdad.com slash balloons and that'll be the balloons that Pavlos works with and when he went to the library he even went there he went there and there was a balloon artist a balloon magician he does a balloon magic show and he taught Pavlos some really cool ways to make his balloons and uh, he taught them that there are additional sizes of balloons that you could use so we have a lot of fun with our hobby right 
Yeah. Yeah. So we want to give a shout out to Pavlos. Pavlos told me to give a shout out. Reminded me to give a shout out to Jungle Jim. And if you want to check out the st- the cool stuff he does, he has his own website called Jungle Jim Boston. It's a J-I-M. So Jungle J-I-M Boston dot com. We want to thank him for spending so much time teaching Pavlos about all the cool ways and animals you can make balloons. And Pavlos is going forward with his balloon animals. He's practicing. He's got a book and he's got lots of balloons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have fun doing sports. You have fun reading, writing and stuff like that and drawing, right? But you also have fun making balloon animals, which is something that a lot of kids don't do. But I'm really excited that you saw something and you've been practicing and you've been working hard and you've been getting really good at it. In fact, we've even talked about going places with you making balloons, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Would you want to do that for like a party or something like that? Family parties. Family parties? All right, family. So we have a lot of our family who listens to this. So maybe if there's a party coming up, we'll bring your balloons and your uh, pump and you can make some balloon animals for people, huh? Uh-huh. All right. So if you guys are looking out and you see little, ma- you see people doing magic, you see people doing balloon animals, you see people juggling, you see people doing things like that, there's no reason that you can't learn how to do it if it's something you have fun doing and you can practice, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to, if you want to start doing balloon animals, just go to 5minuteswithdad.com slash pump and 5minuteswithdad.com slash balloons. And I will see if I can find the link to the to the book that we have that teaches you how to make some balloon animals. But you can find videos on YouTube and things like that. All right, Pavlos, I love that you make balloon animals and that you practice and you've gotten so fun with it. So tell everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. To Five Minutes with... Dad! Bye-bye-bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com.